Today's video is about quiet luxury outfits for spring and this is a topic that a couple of you requested so I'm going to try to do my best with the clothes that I have at home. And spring can be a little bit tricky sometimes because one day it might be close to freezing, the next day the sun is out and then the day after that it's going to be raining a lot. So that's why in this guide I have a couple of outfits that are more for colder days and then other ones that are more suitable for warmer days. And because my wardrobe is of course limited, at the end of the video I'm also going over a couple of really nice outfits that I saw on Pinterest. One thing that you're going to notice a lot is that I really like light colored pants for spring and for summertime. I think especially something like off-white or cream is probably the most versatile color because pretty much any other color that you wear on your upper body is compatible with this color. And at the same time, it's not as intense as a pure white. And in this case, it's a very casual outfit. I went for a navy t-shirt and a navy safari jacket in linen. Then I have these cream colored jeans and I have a pair of black monstrap shoes and a black belt. And I think with the combination of cream colored pants and navy in your upper body, you can't really go wrong. It's a very minimal look. If you wanted to, you could also change the t-shirt to a polo shirt or for a more dressier look, you could also change it to a dress shirt. And this look, of course, is going to be more suitable for warmer days but because of the thick jeans it's not exactly that practical for summertime. For summertime I would probably go for linen trousers or for a light chino as well. The next look is actually quite similar. We have again the cream colored jeans and we have again the black monk strap shoes. A loafer would also work very well of course and in this case I'm combining a very thin turtleneck with a navy blazer and this is going to be a little bit more warmer of course but for spring you don't really want to have the really thick turtlenecks anymore or the really thick sweaters but a very thin merino or cotton sweater can work very well and in this case I think the outfit looks very minimal, very elegant but if you don't have a navy blazer like this you could also go for a regular sport jacket or a safari jacket instead. This look is more suitable for colder spring days and I went for an entirely monochromatic navy outfit. You can see I wear some navy chino trousers and then I have the navy merino wool turtleneck again. And on top of that, I wear also a navy jacket. Now it could be any jacket that you have. I don't really have a lot of jackets at the moment, but in this case, it's a wool jacket and I think it actually looks quite nice, even though it makes my upper body look a little bit bulky so I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure about the jacket i think it looks kind of cool but i also have a feeling that it makes my upper body look a little bit too bulky and in this case i went for monk strap shoes again the only reason why is because i don't have a pair of black chassis boots for example or chaka boots but because this is more for the colder days i would definitely recommend to go for a pair of black boots because this is going to look really good with this look I think this outfit is also very minimal and elegant and normally if you wear a v-neck sweater with a shirt I think it goes more into business casual but I think in this color scheme this is not really something that you would wear to the office most of the time. In my opinion it leans more towards the quiet luxury look because the whole color combination of the white shirt and then the lightly brown sweater and the white trousers and the brown shoes I think it just looks very classy it looks very elegant and I personally really really like this look and because it's a thin sweater this is also great for slightly chilly days in spring again and of course you can wear some kind of brown jacket maybe a trench coat or a wax jacket or even a suede jacket would really work well with this look now this look is definitely more for the warmer days because I'm wearing a pair of linen trousers. I have a linen safari jacket as well. And the shirt is also in seersucker fabric. So all of them are very light and breathable. And in this case, I went for a braided belt and a pair of suede loafers because I think they really add to the entire look. And because the whole color scheme is so light, this is really good for warmer spring days. And if you don't have a cream colored safari jacket, you could also go again for a navy one, which is extremely versatile. It could also be a light navy sports jacket, of course. And I think it works really well again with the navy safari jacket you can actually let me know which one you like more if you like to look more with the cream color safari jacket or the one with the navy i think both of them look pretty nice the navy is a little bit more subtle in my opinion because it's not as in your face as a completely light colored outfit as the other one but in my opinion i think both of them look nice but i would like to hear which one you prefer I personally really like this outfit as well. I went for dark brown corduroy trousers and a very thin cream color turtleneck. And on top of that, I have a wool silk linen sport coat from Proper Cloth. And for the shoes again, I went for some suede loafers. And just to show you what it could look like when you switch up the jacket. In this case, again, I went for the cream colored safari jacket. And I personally think it actually fits really well in this case as well. 
And here we have another outfit for the colder months. I'm wearing some dark brown wool trousers. If it's really cold, you can go for flannel. And if it's a little bit warmer, you can go for a thinner type of wool. And again, I'm wearing the wool jacket. I'm wearing a very thin wool polo neck sweater as well. And the black monk strap shoes. And again, if you have a pair of black boots, this would fit very well with this outfit. And this is something that I would see myself wearing pretty much every day in spring. Because it's very versatile, you can wear it on many occasions. The outfits with the white trousers look really great in my opinion. But many times they're not the most practical ones for obvious reason because the weather is changing all the time and with white trousers you also obviously have to wash them pretty quickly as well so this is something that i would see myself wearing almost every day and if you don't want to wear a jacket you could also go for a blue trench coat for example or a blue or maybe also a thinner wool coat the one i'm wearing right now is a little bit too thin for winter time but it's pretty good for the beginning of spring and that's how you can basically switch up the outfit just by changing the jacket and i personally like both of them i like the jacket and i like the coat as well I really like this outfit because in my opinion it looks very elegant, very minimal and as you can see it's the same shirt and jacket that I'm wearing right now. And I went again for the cream colored jeans, I'm wearing suede loafers and I'm wearing a light blue button down shirt and this wool silk linen sport jacket from Proper Cloth and I think the combination of the colors works really really well. This could also be worn with a polo shirt or with a denim shirt. Now this outfit, I have to admit, I'm not 100% convinced because I find it a bit difficult to style this safari jacket. But because it's spring, I wanted to lean a little bit into the brown and the green theme. And with the green safari jacket, I find it a little bit tricky to style it. And in this case, I went for brown jeans. I have a pair of brown Chelsea boots as well. I'm wearing this olive green safari jacket from Suit Supply and a button-down shirt with lightly green stripes from Kamakura. And I think the whole outfit works quite well. The only thing is the, the belt, in my opinion, is a little bit too shiny. But apart from that, I think it works pretty well. I think an olive green safari jacket like this would also work really well with a black turtleneck, for example, or a black t-shirt. But I don't really have any at the moment. So this is the one combination that I personally found works the best. And in general, I think brown and green usually work together pretty well. And this outfit is definitely more for the warmer days, leaning towards the summertime. Because in summertime, normally you have a little bit less options. And in this case, for a very warm day, I might just be wearing a navy polo shirt. In this case, it's a long sleeve navy polo shirt with buttons. I think it actually looks really nice. Of course, you could also switch it for a regular polo shirt, for a linen shirt, or any type of casual shirt, like a button down shirt as well. And because the shirt is a navy, I went for some black penny loafers. And I think this is a pretty nice outfit for a warm spring day. So those were a couple of outfits that I think work quite well for the quiet luxury look in spring. But I would love to hear which ones you like the most. So please let me know in the comments below. And as I mentioned in the beginning, let's take a look at Pinterest as well because I don't have that many clothes in my wardrobe. So of course I cannot cover every single topic. So for example, this outfit by Bolioli, it's a very similar color scheme to the one that I recommended. But in this picture, you can see that the denim shirt would also work really well with a navy sport jacket or safari jacket. And I saved a couple of outfit ideas in my board over here. And and because I personally don't have that many green things, I wanted to show you this, for example. It's from Suit Supply, green sport jacket with a green shirt, white trousers again, and in this case, some yak loafers as well. And in my opinion, of course, the pants could be a little bit longer, but this is just to show you the overall color scheme and to give you some ideas of what you could wear in spring. And we also have this outfit here from Pini Parma, also with a olive green safari jacket, light blue shirt, and some cream colored chinos. And I think this is also a really good look. Maybe it's something that I should try with my safari jacket as well. And here again, a very similar look cream colored chinos and some yard loafers and in this case a navy safari jacket this is something that can't really go wrong for springtime so here from suit supply this outfit is a pair of cream colored pants light brown shirt i think it's probably in linen and then a pretty light brown jacket on top of this as well with some yard loafers and i think it's a pretty good look and then there's this outfit as well i think it's ben brewster on instagram and i think this is pretty nice for the beginning of uh, spring when it's still a little bit cold it's a similar color scheme to the one that I said earlier, but I think this also works really well. With medium gray flannel trousers, we have penny loafers over here, a light gray turtleneck, and on top of this, and on top of this, a blue jacket. I'm not sure if this is a blue suede jacket. And this is just something that's very practical that you can really wear all the time. And this outfit here from Luca Falloni is also very minimal. I think it's a denim shirt under a half zipper and just with a pair of chinos. I think very minimal outfit. And again, this is great for the beginning of spring when it's still a little bit chilly. One thing that I didn't show, and it's simply 
because I don't really own a really nice one, is a gillet or a vest, which is absolutely perfect for spring. And I think a gillet should be definitely a bit matte. It shouldn't be too shiny. And it works really well with chinos again, with a light turtleneck, for example, any type of sweater that you want to wear underneath. And it's really good for the early spring days. And then we have this outfit here from Pini Parma. I think this is also quite nice with a brown safari jacket. And uh, I think it's a light gray shirt. And again, some cream colored chinos. It's a great look and I think the colors work together very well. So those were a couple of quite luxury outfits that I liked on Pinterest. Let me know again which one you liked the most. And if this video was helpful to you, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see you next time. And if you want to learn about the best brands for the quiet luxury look, then click on this video right here.